Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be talking about the uh, combined shipments functionality which is available to us on the customer ledger in Business Central and essentially what it allows us to do is uh, if we're shipping sales orders to a customer uh, it allows us to efficiently combine uh, multiple shipments from sales orders onto a single invoice. So I guess in theory, it's very similar to uh, one of the uh, other videos um, from a functionality perspective that we have on the channel uh, around consolidating um, invoices. So I guess check out that video if, uh, if you're interested. But this one is, I guess, um, adding a little bit of uh, efficiency automation into that process. Um, so let's get into it, guys. So uh, what I'm gonna do first is come into my customers list and over here let me go into a datum corporation and the only real bit of configuration that we need to do is we need to enable the combine shipments flag on the customer okay so obviously you may not want to do um, sort of what we're doing in this video you might not want to combine shipments for all of your customers so there is a customer specific um, tick box which uh, allows you to control that for one customer and uh, you can sort of disallow it for another customer if you want to. Okay, so once the combined shipments is uh, is marked as yes, um, that will then tell the system that we want to go ahead and invoice for shipments using the combined shipments uh, report. Okay, so let me step back here and just search for the combined shipments um, report. Um, so it's a, it's basically a batch job report which will combine shipments for us and you'll notice we do have a, a combined return receipts as well right so you can do it for shipments and return receipts there if you want to as well um, but for today let's go into combined shipments and we've got a few different fields here which I'll just talk through uh, a lot of them are self-explanatory but let me just come through uh, each of these here so we've got posting date document date VAT date so they are fields uh, as you probably already know on the uh, invoice header so they're going to be transferred from here onto the invoice headers that are generated um, and then we've got calculate invoice discount so do we want to calculate invoice discount automatically on the invoices that we generate yes or no um, i don't have a video on that but we can do something uh, in the future i'll pop it on the list so you guys can see how that works um, post invoices yes or no so very simply do we want to post the invoice after we've generated it probably a good one to keep us no in my opinion so you know you want to review the invoices that, that are generated off the back of this batch job um, and then you can go ahead and post them manually uh, if you're happy with them but if you're not we can then um, you know do what we need to do resolve that issue and then go ahead and run the batch job again and post them rather than post them automatically it's always scary right uh, okay so uh, this checkbox um, only standard payment terms so this allows us to ignore those shipments to customers where for whatever reason the uh, standard payment terms weren't followed okay so i don't know maybe there was a an order where you needed an immediate payment or a payment up front or whatever the situation might be um, you can enable this to ignore those shipments and I guess we can uh, run through a few different scenarios um, to show you how these will work in action okay uh, and final one copy text lines it's basically just for transferring any lines uh, of text which are on your shipment through to the invoice because i guess you know you might have some relevant information which was on the shipment notes that you wanted to also transfer to your invoice okay so that is about it you can put other filters on here for sales orders for posted sales shipments as well but let's not do any of that and i just want to show you right now there is nothing to combine okay so when we run the report it tells us there's nothing to combine but what I'll do is against our customer for whom we have combined shipments enabled as yes, I'm going to go ahead and raise some sales orders and ship them. OK, so let's go sales order. And 
I'm just going to put on some very simple one line orders. Quantity one, unit price 100. And let's go ahead and just ship. Okay, so I know it sort of doesn't really make sense combining shipments, but I just want to show you if I go ahead and say combine shipments now, we're leaving all of the mark, the uh, boxes unmarked, tick boxes unmarked here, so nothing is marked as yes, everything marked as no. Let me say okay. And now we get a prompt box tells us the shipments are now combined and the number of invoices created is one. Okay, so let me go to sales invoices and we see at the bottom here we've got one sales invoice and that is for a datum corporation shipment number is 102227 and it's got my sales order line okay so i just want to go back here and show you on the sales order so let's go back to sales orders here and we go to the last one here for a datum corporation and if i go into order and shipments there is my shipment which needs to be invoiced okay so again we can do another video on this guys maybe one for the future but a shipment is a document which results off the back of a sales order when we ship um, goods from that sales order okay so what i'll do now is let me just go back to my sales invoices i'm going to delete this sales invoice just because we're not going to invoice that one and let's go back to our customers and create another sales order. And on this one, we're going to do the same thing. So quantity one, unit price 100, but I'm going to change my payment terms code. OK, so this is to show one of the, uh, the, the tick boxes on the combined shipments report in action. I'm changing the payment terms code to two days from the default setting on a datum corporation. If I just go into the customer card to show you, the default payment terms code on a datum corporation is one month, eight days. Okay. So just to show you again, on my sales order, the payment terms code is two days. And I'm going to go ahead and ship my sales order. Okay, so once again, let's go to my sales invoice list. And now if I run my combined shipments, I can run it with the only standard payment terms checkbox populated, but I'm going to do it without that populated to begin with. Okay, so let me say okay. And now again, it tells me number of invoices created is one. And let me go in to my invoice. And what you'll see is I have shipment number 102227 from the first sales order and 102228 from the second sales order. OK, now let me delete that. Go back and say combine invoices. Combine shipments rather. Uh, and I'm going to say this time let's go only standard payment terms. OK, and now see the message looks a bit different. Shipments are now combined and the number of invoice created is one. One shipments with non-standard payment terms have not been combined. OK, so that's quite important, guys. If you're using this functionality, you will need to manually go and invoice the shipment from that sales order. Maybe you could use uh, the uh, get shipment lines, the consolidated invoicing functionality to, to do that. OK, so now if I go into the invoice that's generated, look, I will only have one line from my first sales order shipment number 102227 on that sales invoice. OK, so again, let me delete that. And one last scenario here, I'm going to go to my customers and I'm going to raise a, another sales order. And let's put in our line. And what I'm going to do on the second line is just add a comment.
test one, two, three for this demo. So let's go ahead and post and ship. And I'll jump into my sales invoices list one last time. We're going to go ahead and run the combined shipments. We're going to untick only standard payment terms. And this time we're going to tick copy text lines. OK, so let me now say OK. Again, I get the message tells me the number of invoice created is one. Let's go into the invoice and this time. I have shipment number 10227 from sales order one with the relevant lines. Shipment number 10228, the second sales order where we change the payment terms, the relevant lines. Then I've got my final shipment from the sales order that we just created with the relevant line. And look, the lines that I put in as comments from that sales order. OK, so obviously this is just test one, two, three for this demo, but that information could be more meaningful based on what you guys do in terms of your, your business process. You might need to pass relevant information to your customers. OK, so really, guys, that is everything that I wanted to show you. I mean, I won't go ahead and post it, but you get the idea. We're on a sales invoice now, so you can go ahead and post this invoice and it will invoice those sales orders. Um, so that is everything I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, take care. I'll see you on the next one.